So go and grab some, carefully, with your parents' permission, and we can get started. Today, we're going to make a shooter. All you need out of your science kit is your balloon and this cup. Then, everything else should fit nicely, and the cotton balls will be what we shoot. Everything else can go back in your cup. And this is how you make your shooter. The first thing you're going to do is cut a hole in here on the bottom. Being careful not to cut yourself. Now, I have a hole. Next, we're going to take our balloon and we're going to tie a knot on one end, just like you would if you'd already blown it up. Except we're not going to blow it up. Then we're going to cut off this part. Doesn't really matter how much. Now you have a hole on the wrong end. But this is going to be the part that gives our cotton ball propulsion. So we're done with the scissors, and now we're going to put this on which end. But which end do you think we should put it on? That could be our variable. Which end the balloon goes on will shoot the, the cotton ball with the most accuracy. If you want to make this be an experiment, you can write it down here in your notebook. You can write down, if you'd like, a question, a hypothesis, then a picture of your shooter. So our question could be, I wonder which end I should put my balloon on. I hypothesize that this end will make a better shooter. But should I use the word better? Is that going to give me a good result? Can I record better? Is there a number I can put for better? No. So we would say can shoot more accurately because that is something I can record. Which side will give a more accurate shooting? So I'm going to start with the shorter end. My balloon just fits on there quite snugly. And I'm going to take out one of my cotton balls. I'm going to shoot it. I don't want to fall. I don't know how accurately I can shoot it though. If I can shoot it into this You could just do how far can it shoot by ricochet. Let's try the other end. I notice you don't need any tape, it just kind of sticks on there. It doesn't go out. Maybe if I have the cotton ball closer to the end. Oh, that did it. That does not go as far when I do from that end. Still not very accurate. This is not a very accurate shooter. I cannot be very accurate with it. Maybe you can be more accurate with it. That went farther. So, if you want to, you can make this and test how far it can go. Which side do you think is best for length of distance or for accuracy? Let's try something else. Next question, can we use our shooter to punch through a drawing of the coronavirus? Okay, so, so we have to do this and then we have to make it flat. And we're going to shoot, shoot it like this and peel. Asher's hypothesis, a pile of rocks will shoot as far as one rock. Elam's hypothesis, one big rock will shoot as far as one small rock. Gilead's hypothesis, one small rock will shoot as far as one big rock. Yes, four shot.
so you can experiment on your own different ways to try to increase your accuracy and your precision. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun.